Okay, we'll start with the Mr. Dar 30, size 12, dry fly hook. This is a Paraloop floating nymph in the last stages of hatching. Let me just run that tying thread back to there. Take that off. A few pheasant tail fibres for the tail. Doesn't want to be too long this tail. That will do us there. Just go back a wee ways. Yep, that's good. And we'll go up to the thorax. To there. And we can get rid of that. And what we want is another bunch of pheasant tail. I'll tie in just here. Go back. Right into the tail base. And go back up. Trim off those. We want a slight taper on this body so we get a, a slightly thicker body towards the thorax. So we do that. And then what we need uh, a fine length of polypropylene. So we want to tie this in along. the abdomen so we get that builds up that taper a bit more that's good and then we'll trim that off at an angle so we emphasize that taper again again and go back here that's good we take some vivas pearl Tinsel. This is the best one. I find it stretches not as much as the uh, other stuff. And when you tighten the other stuff into a rib, it uh, it tends to stretch, so it almost disappears. But this doesn't. So just tie this along the body till we get to the tail base again. Right there, just lift those up, see what's going on, that's good. And we move our thread back up towards the post. And we can go in front of that just to hold it up and in position. There we are. Now we take our pheasant tail fibres, we want to keep these parallel, we don't want to cross them over really. We get a much nicer effect if we, they don't cross over. I'll wrap these up. There you go. And then I can come back one turn there. And Go over there like that. Lock that off. Trim off those. We take our rib. Right, we don't want these turns tight into each other. We want them just a little bit apart. I hope you can see that. So we're getting this ribbing effect in the pheasant tail. A bit closer with that one. Come over there. And I can get rid of that. back up again. Go back a wee ways. 
Then we need a peacock curl. I'll tie that in there. Good. And then we need our hackle. This is a grizzly variant, it's a Adams, instant Adams. I like this because it gives a very nice effect. We just go around the uh, I'll use a gallows tool for this, it makes it much easier. tie that into the post with a couple of turns and trim off the end of that tie it down there we are then I need my hackle plier that's better the one there behind and then we'll go forward and make a couple of turns there and then we'll tie that off remove that and then I can put my poly yarn back in the a gallows tool. Now we take the hackle needs to be tighter. Let's wet the ends of that and get them together. There we go. Paris loop style hackle. We'll just wind this around each turn going further up the uh, poly post and then when I get to about there I can start going down again. right until we come down into the thorax good then what I do here so it's not messy is I take some tweezers and I just strip off those barbs on each side of the hackle so you get a clean hackle stem to tie off behind the eye good and you can get rid of that then we can release our post and we want to try and press this hackle down a little bit there we go that's good then we fold everything back we move our tying thread up into the thorax or to the beginning of the thorax place our poly on there side of the hook and we make two or three turns and then we can pull this through we 
which will draw the hackle down. And we can trim that off. And whip finish it. Let's give it one more. Get rid of the tying thread. And that's it. That's the uh, barrel loop floating nymph. I'll just get rid of those. And as you can see, uh, it makes a nice footprint on the water. And with that paraloop hackle, it's very easy to see at a distance. And it'll keep that nymph just floating in the surface film. Well worth a try. Thanks for watching.